I caught my fiance cheating on me with my best friend. She was wearing my wedding dress, but I didn't bother her. I'm sorry, but it looks better on me. <laughs> Our wedding is tomorrow. You won't do anything. I told Jack to pack his stuff and get out before running away so I wouldn't have mm -hmm. to see those traitors for another second. I wanted to drown my sorrows and got really drunk. After that, mm -hmm. I went to a bar to forget myself. Hey you, boy, make me a cocktail, faster. Yet, the bartender refused to serve me and asked me to leave. I was tired of arrogant men who pretended that they didn't care about me. I am a successful blogger and will show millions of my followers how conceited, mm -hmm. rude and... Suddenly, I noticed how handsome he was and gave in to temptation. Next morning, I woke up in his bed. Oh my god, I spent the night with a bartender who lives in the slums. I wrapped myself in a scarf so no one would recognize me and left. Only at home did I realize that I had forgotten Jack's heirloom engagement ring at the guy's place. Without it, I couldn't completely break off the engagement. I waited till evening and went to the bar again. But <gasps> I was shocked. As it turned out, Cole, the bartender, never worked there. Then who did I spend the night with? The answer was worse than I could even imagine. I slept with the janitor! Ugh. Actually, I'm a helper. I trim plants, fill in for bartenders, wash stuff. Stop right there. I can see how low I have fallen. Hmm? I breathed a sigh of relief as Cole pulled out my ring. Hmm. However, he refused to give it back and asked for one more night. Never! I'd lose all my followers if we're spotted together. No? Then you won't see your ring again. I had no choice but to agree. Still, I never expected a guy to take me on a date. To the woods? <sighs> you didn't want to spoil your reputation, right? Squirrels and raccoons are unlikely to be part-time paparazzi. I doubt they would call 911 if I shouted for help. Besides, I wouldn't be able to call either way. There was no signal there. Cole led me to a picture meadow and suddenly started to undress. I realized it was time hmm. to run, but a strong hand grabbed me. Let me go! I don't want to be with you, pervert! You can leave any time you want, but this path leads to the mountains. Cole let go of my hand and said that the road back to town was to the left. I didn't mean to offend you. You've watched too many horror movies. Did you take your clothes off? To sunbath. I relaxed <laughs> and we had fun and laughed till evening. Maybe we can have dinner together at my place. Sorry, I have things to do. Things? On a Saturday night? I asked if I could join him. Hmm. If you don't mind putting this on. Hmm? Cole took me to a disability rehabilitation center and asked me to wash the paws of two patients.
Is this another one of your jobs? No, these are my parents. It seems that his family got into a car accident. After that, Cole dropped out of college and got a job to pay for his parents' rehabilitation. When it was time to go, he gave me the engagement ring back, along with my life problems. That same day, I went to see my ex fiance <gasps> I hope this is our last meeting. <gasps> Don't be in such a rush. Otherwise, everyone will find out that you are a cheater. As it happened, he had been following me. I'll tell everyone that he had an affair with a toilet cleaner. <laughs> Such scandal would completely destroy my reputation. Jack knew that, so he made an unheard of demand. My penthouse. You have time to think before your 10 million followers party. I couldn't let that happen, so I came up with a plan. I also invited Cole to my fancy party. But first, we need to give you a makeover. Barbershop and hot couture. Cole turned into a galactic level superhero. At the party, everyone was amazed by my unknown companion. I heard Jack's teeth grinding. And he immediately posted the compromising information. In response, I started a live stream and called on my subscribers for charity. My companion's parents were in a car accident. Cole dropped out of college and has been working hard to pay for their rehab. Personally, I met him at a bar where he cleaned toilets and helped. I announced a $10,000 donation to support his education. That hit Jack hard. But I had something else to finish him off. By the way, my ex-fiancé <gasps> cheated on me with my friend, Alina. I wanted to share my victory with Cole. However, I couldn't find him anywhere. I called, texted, but the guy didn't answer me. To see what was going on, I immediately went to Cole's slums and tried to kiss him, but he moved me away. I didn't open up just so you could get likes. You're just like your ex. You use others for your own benefit. Cole said he would handle everything on his own, without money and my betrayals. You can bask in likes and public perfection all by yourself. He was right. My popularity skyrocketed after the party. I was even invited to a TV show. It was my chance to let go of the past and start a new life. So, I chose to tell the whole truth. I fell in love with a helper, spent the night in the slums and was happy. <gasps> At least until I betrayed him by pretending to be a perfect blogger. I left the studio and saw my name next to the headline, Liar. My number of followers decreased rapidly and the DMs were filled with insults. Yet, I remained calm. The only thing I cared about was the attention of the person mm -hmm. opposite of me. I love you too. And I don't want to lose our happiness. Cole heard my life confession and decided to give us a chance. True love conquers any social gap. <laughs>